you know, you can think there's something going on in the UK, there's something going on in America, but at the end of the day, all the research that's developed that's a result of the policy changes, this information eventually uh, drives forward the global movement. So it's very relevant to see different models um, around the world and understand what are those success factors um, for the ones that we believe are, are really driving forward in the right way. And, and that's how we can adopt some of those principles in places where, you know, we're, we're trying to fill those gaps. And yeah. you mentioned before, yeah. oh, go ahead. Um, I was just going to say that the global narrative, you know, it all comes yeah. back to more evidence, more data. So yeah. look at what the FDA have said. They've said, you know, we need more data. Um, and look at the, there's a brilliant study going on, um, a valid cap for liver damage to show any um, increase in liver damage activity. Um, that's essentially yeah. what you've got in the UK. The FSA have asked for more evidence. The European Union have asked for more evidence. And it can neatly be packaged up into novel foods. The novel food requirements overlap with all the safety concerns. We had a government advisory board to the Food Standards Agency in the UK saying, we've got significant concerns on liver damage. And if you look at their report, um, it goes line by line on how they came to this conclusion. And it wasn't scientifically sound, but at least it was the opening gambit for, for dialogue to say, hey, you know, this your, your concerns aren't based on what's in, available in the market. Why don't we produce that data for you? If you look at what's happening in Australia, the downshift I think to allow for, and it's not as it's not exactly the same as the UK where you can just walk into anywhere once you're registered, once you're authorized, you can walk into any shop and buy a CBD product. It's not quite like that um, what they've proposed in Australia, but it's the restrictions are becoming looser. So you can see this global call for we want to open up the cannabinoid market. We want our citizens, you know, so from the government point of view, we want our citizens to to take advantage of these amazing products. You know, that's why we're all here. Like, you know, bottom line, we know these products work. Um, and it and, and it's it's up to us now to prove that and have these sensible conversations with regulators that in tandem work for the market as well. So yeah, I completely agree with you. It's it's all moving in that direction. Yeah. And at the end of the day, like you said, the those organizations are are demanding evidence and so is the consumer. You know, we find that there's so there there is this acceptance, but there's a demand. Consumers want to know um, what's what's going to go into their bodies, and they really want they need that next step to be convinced. So overall, information, data, evidence, the market opening up to that, it's incredible.